Well, galleries and museums in this country are increasingly being called upon to reflect more diversity and representation. And you know, oftentimes I reckon it's a lone artist achieving these goals through powerful and deeply personal exhibitions. Wendy Moke is one such creative. She's a Brisbane-based Papua New Guinean actor, writer, curator and visual artist. And her new exhibition, Mary, is currently showing at Northside Gallery in Cairns. It examines black womanhood through the eyes of PNG women. Wendy, hello. Hey, hello, Susa. Me am a massive good face for you. How are you? I'm very well excited to be speaking with you. I think that we should get back to basics. Now, tell me, what does Mary mean? Well, Mary in Tokpisin, which is Papua New Guinea's uh, common dialect, means woman or girl. The Mary Project is really about examining how Melanesian women, specifically Papua New Guinean women, identify with their culture, maintain culture, practice culture within a contemporary world. The way that we approached and engaged with women that were involved in the project was essentially through a social media call out and we asked people within the PNG community to nominate women to put forward in this project. And so we were actually uh, inundated with uh, people tagging their sisters and their mamas and their aunties. And, and so we went on a little bit of this uh, a journey of reaching out and seeing if any of these women would want to sit down and have conversations and be able to open up parts of their lives. So in terms of the stories shared, what are the ways that you're now presenting these women's stories? When you walk into the gallery, you would see the image of the woman and then you would use your device and you scan the QR code and immediately their story plays on your phone. So the idea is that you see her and you hear her. A lot of the times with art, it's about perception and what the viewer takes away from it and the impression that we put on it. Whereas with this project, it's about you seeing the woman, but then also hearing them. So they tell you who they are. They tell you what you walk away with in the end and not your own perception of who they are. So there are portraits of themselves littered throughout urban landscapes because a part of the project is to re-envision uh, what the Papua New Guinean woman is. I was more than tired of images of, of PNG women in villages and, and uh, like, you know, hibiscuses in their hairs, you know, by the ocean. And whilst all that is also part of, I guess, the uh, identity and to some degree, we're more than that. We're these women that are navigating concrete jungles. We're in the marketplace. We're, you know, catching PMVs. We're driving Bentleys. You know, we're more than, than just this one notion of, I guess, what people deem us to be and so the portraits are them in their spaces so a lot of them are actually in their places of work so some of them are at their desk some of them are in the car park and so it's to really capture them in their natural environments in the spaces that they occupy you know growing up a lot of the imagery and what we're fed about Papua New Guinean women was to do with victimhood or this idea that we were always these creatures that were suffering, you know? And I found a lot of that, to be quite honest, dehumanizing and disempowering in a lot, in a lot of ways. And so I think that really affects young Papua New Guinean men and women in the way that they see themselves. And so I kind of wanted to challenge that in the Mary series. This exhibition is one that you have curated. So it's led by a woman centering the voices of many women. I find it really intriguing though that, uh, you know, even though it is an exhibition that, that focuses so much on womanhood, you never actually use the word feminist or feminism. And I'm wondering what your relationship is to both those words. So the big F word, you know, feminism is an English word. We don't have the word feminism in any of our talkless, in any of our dialects. So feminism for us exists in a very different way. And so oftentimes I feel like, particularly with white women, they can weaponize that word and transform it into something entirely 
that doesn't necessarily include someone like me, someone like you, or someone that doesn't look or have the same life experiences as, as they do. And so I don't necessarily identify as a, as a feminist because I think that's a Western construct. I identify as a Papua New Guinean woman that is looking always to empower myself in whatever capacity that is. Black women particularly have always done that since the beginning of time. Wendy Mulcair, it's always such a treat chatting with you. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you uh, so much. You're like, honestly, living legend, Namilla Benson. Thank you very much. <laughs> and thank you for everyone tuning in. Please, please, please uh, make time to go in and visit Mary. She has a lot to say and I think you should listen. <laughs>